Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I am participating in a very special hop. So our friend Crafty Maggie uh, has been on YouTube for 10 years. That is like wild, totally wild. So she wanted to throw together a hop and she did a recipe and this recipe has 10 things. Um, so I showed it at the very beginning of the video but we're gonna go through it um, I do have it checked off, so I know I got everything. Um, so she wanted us to either start with a sketch or one of her layouts. So I decided to pick one of her layouts. You can see up here in the corner. And then uh, the second is two stamps, which we'll get to that. Uh, three is three photos. So you can see I have three photos here. This is when... My son did his first solo uh, flight for when he was getting his pilot's license. And so we have this really cool like tracker thing. So anytime uh, either of my boys are up in the air, uh, I can track them at all times. So uh, it's, you know, it's, it's just the new part of the helicoptering for me, I guess. <laughs> um, so, but it was fun because you can see his entire flight, like it shows the entire path. Like, so he's, he's the yellow line or blue line. What color is that line? It's blue. The planes are yellow. <laughs> the line is blue. Um, maybe it's green. Oh gosh. Now I got to look at it really close here. Oh, it's totally green. So, uh, so you can see his route, which, which is super fun. So I printed that out and then there's a picture of him and his instructor. And then, so one of the pilot traditions is after your first solo flight, you wear, well, you wear a white shirt and then your instructor writes everything on the shirt and then cuts it off of you. <laughs> like the whole back is like cut out. Like, it's just a tradition, which I think is super cool. So I have uh, them, his instructor, writing on his back. So uh, those are what the three pictures are of. The number 10, I'm going to skip to that one just because that one is glaze. And number eight is a stencil. So I combined those two and used uh, the Up, Up, and Away stencil from Scrapping Reflections, which is definitely one of my favorite, uh, in addition <laughs> to being one of my favorite. Now it is like even more useful because I can use it with my husband and my kids, not just for vacation. So uh, I kind of figured out where my photos and everything were going to go so that I didn't use up too much of my paste. Uh, so this paste is lunar paste in slippery uh, when wet. Uh, so it's a really pretty gold. So uh, that was number eight. Um, so I'm going to go back to the top. So we talked about the photos. Number four is at least four pattern papers. And to go with that, number seven is a six by six or a six by eight paper pad. Well, I pulled out this dream big paper pad, six by six paper pad from Fancy Pants from 2017. And it had just these papers. I think there were two six by six full pieces of paper and then a bunch of scraps. And I used this up, which I'm super excited because that can just go in the garbage because it's just, there's nothing left. I made some uh, photo mats from the, from the paper and one of them didn't go all the way around. So I kind of Frankensteined it a little bit, but funny enough, I just covered it up. So you can't even tell. <laughs> and then, um, I'm going to go ahead and get those banners on the side. So my layout looks a little bit different. You can definitely tell I've got the layered paper in the background and a semi-ish grid kind of look, even though I don't have enough to uh, make a grid. So there I was counting my counting my papers to make sure that I had at least four of them. I was, for some reason, I was thinking I needed six or seven. 
but I think that was because number seven was a six by six or six by eight pad. So now I am on to stamps. So I had originally pulled this kind of text stamp, but there really wasn't anything left because I had done the stenciling. So I pulled out a roller date stamp. Well, it's just a roller stamp. This one doesn't have a date on it. And I'm gonna start with these arrows. So I did the arrows in black all the way around, and then I took kind of like some little stitching lines in speckled egg and did those in between. So that kind of gives me that border uh, and her layout had a border, but my layout uh, doesn't have a, like a pattern paper border. It just has this stamped border. And then I'm gonna start working on my embellishments. So uh, number five says you have to have five buttons. Number six says you have to have to leave six embellishments. And number nine says nine enamel dots or sequins. So um, I pulled out five buttons and then I pulled out uh, six different embellishments. I think I might have done seven, but I think I did six. Um, so I've got my title that is kind of an acetate piece. I have a corrugated cloud up there. I have a bramble fox perspective cloud. I have a tiny word sticker. I also had two blue photo corners that I put on there. I had a little bracket and I think it was actually like not meant to, I like, I feel like it was just part of the packaging from a chipboard piece, but I had kept it and the color was perfect and it fit perfect over, we had typed first solo flight on, on that picture. So that's up there and then a tag. So I think that covers all of the embellishments. I did only do five buttons and I only did nine sequins and those are from Subigo Mom Scraps from a holidays. One. So I have a couple of close ups. Make sure you go give Maggie some love and congratulations and check out everybody else who is hopping along. So remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye.